Today we're setting up more payment pages. So welcome to another video in the series on how to accept payments on your website, this time with WooCommerce. And specifically today, we're gonna to set up a couple of payment pages to sell your services. So this is another payment workflow video coming up. So in today's video, I'm gonna get as specific as possible so you can implement this on your own website. Assuming that you have all of the digital tools covered in this video, you should be able to set up a payment page just by following along in today's video. So this is gonna assume that you have a WordPress website that's set up and configured. In other words, it's all, all set up and hosted and configured. You have the WooCommerce plugin installed and you have the Card Connect gateway connected to WooCommerce. If you don't have any of those things set up just yet, check the links in the description because other videos that I've done cover that in detail. So just look at the links in the description, watch those videos and then come back. So in this scenario, we need two payment pages and these are gonna be payment pages that are gonna sell a service. So we're not dealing with actual products here, although this placeholder does say your product image goes here. This is just going to be for an event, like we're selling tickets or registration to get into an event. So although WooCommerce is an e-commerce platform, you can use these payment pages to sell digital products, digital services, you know, digital downloads like eBooks or informational products as well as just using them as standalone payment pages like we're gonna do in this case. So each product and service that we set up will have a specific and unique URL. So you can take these links and put them in emails or put them in you know, flyers and other marketing materials that, that you have for your company. So in order to create a payment page that looks like this, this is a sample and you have a product image right here or a service image right here and it just represents what's your, what you're selling. So in this case, the flow looks like this. You can add it to the cart. And once you do that, it shows WordPress shows you this little notification up here. The customer can view the cart and then they can adjust if needed, update the cart, and then they can proceed to checkout where they'll enter all of their information and make the purchase. So in order to create this page and this flow that we just showed, here's the step-by-step. -step. You'll start by coming by logging into your WordPress dashboard and coming over to the Products tab. Again, this will show up once you have the WooCommerce plugin installed onto your WordPress dashboard. That's the e-commerce platform. You'll come right down to Add Product, and this page will load, and this is where you're gonna start configuring your product. Now, I've already set one up, so I'm gonna come back out to the Products tab and just go in and edit this. Uh, we're pretending that we have a service called the gold ticket for our event. I'm gonna come in and edit this product and I've labeled the name of it and then I've set a URL. So here's the unique URL that I can give to somebody. And if I click on this, you can see since I've already saved this, it goes straight to this page. So I'll just go back to the dashboard. If you do wanna change the URL, you can do that by just clicking on edit and adjusting the, the name. You can put hyphens and, and add additional words or label that whatever you want that's specific to your product. Click okay. And then there's two description sections here. Uh, number one is the main section of the WordPress editor that is available with all pages and all posts. And you can put whatever you want in here that describes your event or the product. And then if you scroll down here to the bottom, there's a, a place that says product short description and you can put that in right here. So this section right down here labeled product short description shows up on your product page right here. Okay, so that's, you can put bullet points in there, you can put check marks, whatever you want. That's the custom editor that you'll put right in here. So if you wanna make something bold, just change it, come up and just click update. And then when I come over to the, the live page and preview, you can see that this section is, is now bold right here. So it's very standard WordPress editing procedures and it's just tied to a product or a service in this case and that payment page. So to assign the dollar amount, you just very simply come right down to this uh, product data, leave it as simple product, and you can check the virtual checkbox, and then just put your dollar amount in right there. 
you can leave everything else as is. And if you've configured the payment gateway already and you've set a, a default payment gateway, which in this case is, is Card Connect, again, check the links in the description if you haven't done that yet. But I've already configured that part of this process. So I'm just setting up the product, the image, and the dollar amount, and I'm clicking publish. So you'll, so I'll click update and then I'll click preview changes. And now my dollar amount for my gold ticket has changed to $500. And the process is exactly the same. So I'll add, if I add this to the cart, it'll take me to the cart preview section by clicking view cart. And then I can go through the rest of the process. So adjust the quantity and so on and so forth. To add a product image, you just come right in here and there's a section built into all WordPress themes. You can select the product image. It goes into your image library. Just check set product image and click save. Now this product image, if you don't have a designer or you don't have Photoshop or you know another photo editor, this exact image was created by a website called canva.com and it's a free editor you can sign up or log in with facebook and you can just create there's a bunch of templates and you can just create little images and again that's just used for a placeholder so that it it, it makes your product page or your services page in this case look more professional so you can put your logo in there and you can save those JPEG images or PNG images and then you'll have that to attach to your product page. Okay, so once my product is completed, I can come and update one final time and then to show you where this, where this shows up, within WordPress and the framework of WooCommerce, the default link is the shop page. So if you go to your main URL and go to shop, it'll, you'll, you'll see all of your products listed right here and you can see this is the one that we just created. So if I click on that, it's just gonna bring up the product description. You can add your cart and go through the rest of the payment process. So let's say we have a second service that we wanna sell or a second ticket package that we wanna sell. I'll go through and actually create a page here just so you can see from start to finish what the process looks like. So I'll come in and, and I'll click add product. I'll add product number two I'll just copy this text paste it there I'll come down to the short description and paste it again I'm gonna put a dollar amount of $150 virtual leave it as simple product I'm gonna come up and select a product image and let's just use the same image placeholder it attaches and I can save the draft if I want to preview this I'm gonna look at the link and it's labeled product number two so you would label that whatever product that, that you want to or whatever service you want to I'm gonna click preview it's gonna open in a new tab and there's my there's my new product now one further customization that I'll that I'll just show you is this is a sidebar down here, and these are some links for, for services on this specific website that, that people can learn and read about. But if you wanted a specific page with only the option to make a purchase and you want to eliminate this sidebar, all you have to do is come back into your product page or your service page and come down to the side. And in some themes, now this is theme specific, not all themes have this, but some of them will allow you to change the the sidebar location and you select no sidebar and then it removes that so if I click and now I've updated that I'll save and I'll preview this just to show you that that sidebar is going to be removed and there it is so the sidebar is gone the only thing that someone can do on this page the menu options are still there but the main thing is to click on this this button here to add to cart and complete the purchase then when I'm satisfied with the layout and the description and everything about this product page, I'm just going to come back over and click publish and it's going to add it to the inventory. So this page is a hundred percent live now. So if we click on it, there it is. And it's live on the website. If we come back to the shop page, you're going to see that we have our gold ticket from before and we have product number two that's listed. Each of those have a different specific link 
And again, you can put those in emails. You can put those as separate links on your website. You can even, if you have a blog, for example, you can even put these products in the sidebars on your website or within pages or wherever you would like to on your website. A couple of final notes about the product when you're when you're setting up payment pages like this, whether you're using them for products or services, you want to make sure that you do have an SSL certificate installed on your website domain. The Card Connect plugin in this case and most gateway plugins do not let you store data on your WordPress website. And again, you definitely don't want to do that. Most of them will use secure APIs to redirect the payment information but it's always a good idea to have that SSL certificate installed both for peace of mind and to just make sure everything is, is as secure as it possibly can be. After you have your products set up and each of your, your payment pages configured, you may want to configure your system, your WordPress website, to email you a notification or confirmation that somebody went to one of your pages and made a payment. So the way that you do that is, is to come in back into WooCommerce hover over the settings tab and click on settings. And then in the sub tab, you'll click on the emails link. And these are all the notifications that you can set. So here's the other options that you have. But for a new order, just set your email address right there and you click on the configure button in order to do that. So you just put your email address in right here. Make sure that that is checked so it's enabled and save your changes. And then every time somebody makes a new order for any product or payment page that you have set up on your website, you're gonna get a notification that a new order came through and the subject line is gonna read as such, the email heading. And again, all of this is gonna come uh, to you as the administrator. So that's how you use WordPress, WooCommerce, and in this case, the Card Connect Payment Gateway plugin to set up payment pages on your website. So you can set these up for temporary use. You can set them up permanently. There is additional ways to hide them from your storefront if you'd like, and there's direct checkout options, which make this more of a static page that does involve some custom coding, which I'll cover in another video. But if you want a quick and easy way to set up a specific payment page for a service or event that you're doing, this is the way that you can go about doing it. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you give this video a like and, and share it with a friend. If you want to learn more about payment workflows like this and setting up payment pages on your website, this is just one of many different ways that you can accomplish that task. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to get updates when I publish new videos and I publish weekly tutorial videos on payment processing, merchant accounts, and digital softwares and payment workflows that tie all of the digital tools and merchant accounts together. Until next time, I'm Brian Manning, and I'll talk to you soon.